Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this series. Let's get started. So in the last video, we created the first floor. We added the grid lines. We also have the levels for our elevation. And then we have put the walls for interior and exterior and we added windows and doors. In this video, we're going to continue working on level 2. So let's go and select level 2 here. So here, I'm going to select the walls. I'm going to duplicate exterior wall number 1, edit type, duplicate, and then will be exterior wall number 2, press OK, and then I'm going to edit the thickness, this will be 500, press OK, and then OK, and then now this will be going up to level 3. Or four. So for now, let's put it up to level three, and then when time time goes by, I'm gonna change the levels. So now, I'm gonna select interior face, and then start creating the walls. So I'm going to press escape and then choose this instead, the rectangle. I'm going to select it from here to this. So now I'm going to escape and then I'm going to check it out on my 3D. And as you can see, we have a change of thickness from level 1 to level 2 this will add more characters to our model so let's go back to level 2 again and then here we're gonna select level sorry wall wall again and then wall interior number 1 So as you notice, level 1 is showing. So if for some reason you don't have it, you have to go to underlay and then range base to level 1. And you will be able to see what's under level number 2. So now, select walls. And then let's add interior wall number one. Like so. We have to change the location line to wall center. Similar to this. And then, so this will be our master's bedroom. So I'm going to add an end suite here and a walk-in closet. There will be a corridor here that separates bedroom 1 and bedroom 2. And they will have a shared washroom right here. So let's continue. So select this again, CS, and then let's add the wall from here to there. So as you remember, we'll have a stairs here. So I'm going to create the separation from 
the stairs to bedroom number one like so and then I'm gonna add the walls for the corridor let's change this to 2300 1600 for this make it 1800 so we're gonna add the balcony here something like this so around 1500 I just want to make sure that this is aligned so AL so that's good CS again to create similar and the washroom the end suite washroom for the master bedroom So let's change this dimension. Let's make it 2000 instead. And that's, let's align this walls. AL. And there you have it. CS again. And we're just adding the walk-in closet here. So now let's hide the underlay. So go to underlay under pro properties and click to none and then apply. And then now it looks like this. select this wall and then we're gonna create a wall opening so select this wall and then this will be cut and then we're gonna cut it right here as well let's add in our doors so go to architecture door and then let's select our door which is this one space bar to change orientation something like this and I forgot to put a wall here for our washroom so right now let's select this interior and CS again and let's add the washroom go to door and add in the door Then let's add in our windows right here. I'm going to use a curtain wall again. So click on wall and then look for a curtain wall. Let's add it from here. And then here as well. Go to modify and then cut geometry. 
select the wall and then the curtain wall. Wall and curtain wall. Let's also add curtain wall on this side of the bedroom. So for, for this one, select the curtain wall and CS. And then we're going to add small windows. Something like this. And then we could just copy to have a consistent size. I want to select both of them. So hold control button and select both of this window. And then after that, let's mirror this. And then select both of this and then just move. After this, go to Modify, and then Cut Geometry. Select the wall, and then the curtain wall. Wall and curtain wall, wall, curtain wall, and then wall and curtain wall. Let's go to 3D, and change the height, and the base. And later on, we're going to change it more. So use align command AL. To copy the alignment of this wall. So AL. Look for the plane. To make it consistent. So it's looking good. I'm just double checking if everything is aligned properly. And we could change this as well. And then AL to align again. We will add the mullion later on. Go back to level 2. So we're going to continue working on this in the next video. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.